Hello everyone, this is Brad Wistens. In the recent past, I've done a lot of minimalist missions where I bring a Kerbal to a destination and back for the lowest launch mass possible. In this video, I'm going to extend the minimalist aesthetic to the mission goal itself, and the goal will be to deliver Bill Kerman to orbit with the lowest launch mass imaginable. To this end, Bill Kerman has built the worst rocket in the history of the Kerbal space program. It weighs only 874 kilograms. It was supposed to only have four parts, but after filling the T-100 tank with 500 kilograms of fuel, I still needed 33 more kilograms of fuel in an R-4 tank, bringing me to five parts. I did attempt a Juno approach to this mission that I'd used in my minimalist Minmus mission, but I found that due to the very small scale of this mission, the Juno engine was simply too massive. The first stage of this ascent is going to be a break from this channel's tradition of complicated ascent profiles, and it's going to be a simple gravity turn. My only way to control the attitude on this craft is the gimbal on the spark engine, and because the spark engine is mounted almost on the center of mass, we really have very little choice here, and facing prograde is the only option. After expending the 533 kilograms of liquid fuel, we are on suborbital trajectory and can coast all the way to space. It was extremely important that this craft was aerodynamically optimized because the dry mass of it is only 341 kilograms and any drag would have slowed us down extremely quickly. After reaching space, Bill can break the fairing, jump out of the chair, and start using the jet pack to circularize his orbit. Kerbal EVA packs are shockingly effective with more than 600 meters per second of delta V. This is about 25 times better than NASA's jet pack, so we should really look into what technology they're using here. The use of the EVA pack is why I put the apoapsis of my suborbital trajectory so far over 70 kilometers. Bill Kerman causes a lot of drag, so I didn't want to leave the craft until I was out of the atmosphere, but then I needed that extra time to circularize my orbit before I started falling back towards the planet. Even so, I added a little bit of radial component to the EVA pack's burn to allow me to inject into a mostly circular orbit. Despite the newfangled EVA parachute, we do not have any protection from overheating on re-entry, so I'm going to leave Bill in space for now, which he surprisingly seems very happy about. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.